everybody, here we are again, and we're doing another stout comparison. It's not going well. For starters, I've got the Guinness glass out, failed to put Guinness in it. I bought Guinness, uh, Guinness Draft, it's the one with the widget in the bottom, well, somewhere in the can. I was after something like Mackinson's Stout, because that's a milk stout, which is what this is. So it's not really a comparison, it's just drinking two different stouts. Uh, yeah, so the Muntons is the Muntons flagship rich, creamy, velvet milk stout that you'll have already seen against the Coopers. I was going to do it against a commercial milk stout, the shop didn't have one. And then I put the Muntons in the Guinness glass. It's just a complete cock up. Right. So, obviously, the one with the widget is always going to have a good head because it's, uh, it's, it's got nitrogen in the, in the widget, which forms really tight bubbles. But the Muntons one isn't too bad. So we'll go for the taste, go for the Muntons first, and it's an old style so it's going to be sweet. Yeah, some nice, fairly upfront sweetness, there's a, a dark chocolate flavour that goes all the way through. Yeah, we've still got dark chocolate the sweetness is dying down a bit now and then right at the back end we get the nerthiness going on which will be the hops that I, I don't know what hops it is I think it just said English hops so it's probably Goldings but yeah very nice but it should be at 30 quid we've been through that 30 quid no, gets you 40 pints, so it's about, it's less than 75p a pint, I think it's about, I worked it out, I think it's something like 73p a pint. The Guinness was four cans for a fiver, uh, but the cans are 440ml, I think, yeah, 440ml, 4.1%, I think the Muntons has come out at 43 Round about the same. Uh, so this, the Guinness is, I think works out for one pound sixty a pint, roughly. So it's slightly more than double. Um, so you're saving. Even with the most expensive kit, beer kit there is going, you've still got a beer half the price, and it's on draft. So it's. It's like you get served in the pub, virtually. Doesn't have the same quite as head, but I haven't got a handful. I have got one sparkly tap. Now I'm going to do a review on that. I'll save it. I'll save it. Right, we're going to the Guinness. So. Nice, sweet, chocolatey flavours. Guinness. Obviously, you got that bitterness straight up front. Not as much mouthfeel, I don't think. Just looking at them. They look exactly the same, they're dark as dark. The Mountain's flagship has a lot of mouthfeel, whereas yeah, nowhere near as much. Still very nice. This is the proper Guinness, I would say. I had a, a, a can of 
ordinary Guinness, not the extra stout Guinness. I was disappointed in it. This is more like the extra stout Guinness. I think they just changed it to draft Guinness in cans. I'm waffling, I'm going to stop waffling. Yeah, so you've got this. It's a bitterness right from the beginning. The burnt, dark, malty notes. You got that, yeah. Burnt bitterness taste. And then it dies back into more of a... There is um, a chocolate coming through. Chocolate notes. It's like um, a dark chocolate. Rather than a sweet chocolate. That's more like a... It's like a dark chocolate, but a sweet dark chocolate. Working off camera. No. Which do I prefer? I do like Guinness. It's nice. It's got... It still doesn't have as much mouthfeel as I, I seem to remember. But that might just be me. I might have moved on with my palate a little bit. So the non-Guinness in the Guinness glass... Yeah, similar sort of flavours, but there's more mouthfeel, and the bitterness, the burntness is masked with the sweetness, and you get you end up, you do get that slight burntness towards the end as the sweetness dies down, but it's sort of masked then by the bittering. I think I actually prefer. The Munton's flagship at half price. Don't get me wrong, the beer. Better beer. Right, so like, comment, and subscribe. See you next time. Cheers. Bye.